I want to dress up this back a little bit here. Uh, we've got the bass all painted. It's a good looking bass. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set it over this gently. And what I do is I take it and I put a layer of uh, caulk on here. There's a lot of different methods for doing this. I just get a good layer. What I want to do is just make the back look decent, you know. Okay, so what I got is I got that there. And I can, I'll use either screening or uh, some other type of material. You can use, uh, like I, I use here, like a, a barrier they use in the, the garden industry. Stuff like that. Makes a nice really cleans up the back of your fish I'll show you here I cut this to fit just go ahead and put it right on there like and smooth that down if it's too big you can always trim it up a little bit but anyway you see how that kind of forces that stuff through there it binds it and then it's a little bit long here so I'm going to take and cut it off a little bit and this will dry overnight If you have any loose edges, you can just go ahead and get some juice stuff on there. And you come back tomorrow see these edges like this. You can put a little more caulk on there if you want, or you can cut those edges off. I'm just going to put a little more caulk on there. that out a little bit just smooth it down and that way you got a nice cleaned up back on your fish we'll go ahead and I'll trim this up a little bit off the tail here it's a little bit too long you see that now you can either paint the back of your fish a different color what I do is I usually just kind of paint it black or whatever or kind of blend the white up here a little black down the back here to blend things together but anyway that's the way it'll look and when it dries I'll show you what it looks like when it dries and you got a nice cleaned up back looks good customer will, one of the first things customers usually do is they turn their fish over to see what it looks like <laughs> but anyway we'll give these just a little bit of a light coating of black just to blend those in a little bit that fin backing and I think it'll look good we'll let that dry overnight we're all done with the bass we're just making a habitat scene for him I'm looking at this wood here and I, I, I put together scenes like this right here I want the bass to come up and and be like he's going after a lure or a fish there. So what I want to do is I want to put a screw in right where the bass is going to be hiding. Or we'll hide the screw. We want to get this branch spread out a little bit so it looks good. So we're just going to go ahead and run a screw right down through this area right here. Just to hold it on there for a while. Sometimes you might have to pre-drill the wood if it's too hard. But you can see here we got this piece made here. We're going to put this bass on it right here. Remember we did the back of this bass. We're going to we're, we're trying to figure out a habitat for it. I think we're going to go something like so. 
So, I'm going to put this other branch on here. Like this right here. And this over here will make a really nice, really nice mount, I think. We'll have the bass coming across there. I'm going to put another screw in. You got to make sure your branches don't hit your wall now, too. So, I think that'll do her. I'm going to put a screw in right here. And we'll see what happens. We'll put the bass on there, see if we got. So now we got two pieces of wood on here for a habitat. You put a hanger on the back. I use a kind of a flat board of some kind here, so you can see this. Put a hanger on the back of that. All this stuff comes from the river around here where I live, so. so what we're going to do is we're going to put this bass right on here. Like... And I can come right from the back into this, right through the wood right here. I'm going to pre-drill these holes here. I'll find out where I'm going to put it. I'll be just about like, I want to center it up into the habitat so it looks good going to sit on the wall like so. It'll look like it's going after something up here. And uh, I've got a piece here. I can, I can go into this one here, right here. The beauty of this is sometimes you have to put these together, put the bass on them and get them ready and then put them on here, but not this time. I'm going to right here with this one. I'm, I see I've got one higher, one, one's going to be lower. Now, I'm going to try to do this in scene so you can see what it looks like. I don't know if we'll get her done that way, but uh, we'll try to. Okay? We'll try to get it where you can see it all. But I don't know if we can because of the difficulties of getting everything in the shot. Okay. I want to want to get about the same exposure on each side. So I'm going to come up from the bottom here. Put this just like into my fish. And we'll just go ahead and put that in there. Okay, that sucked up pretty good. So, okay, this one here is going to be a little bit away from the stick, so we can go ahead and let's see what kind of screw we're going to use. We'll use a little shorter screw here. We don't want to go through the fish all the way to the other side, so. Fish is on here nice and tight, mounted solid. This is what it's going to look like. Move back a little bit so you can see it. But that's the way it'll sit on the wall. And it'll be a nice looking mount. Now if you want to, you can coat these with some kind of poly if you want, or Mod Podge. And that'll give it a nice bright shiny appearance like it's in the water. But this is a nice, the, the guy will like this, so. Anyway. I think we're going to give this a kind of like a, what I call a, a little rub with wax. It's called treasure gold wax. It comes in a little package like this. And this is something you don't have to do. This is just something I do on my bass. What I do is I get a little bit of it on my finger. Just enough to get my finger gold. You see that? And what I do is I rub from the top half on up. What I want to do is I just want to make just a very little, if you rub very lightly, you'll hit the back of the scales. You see how that's bringing out that color in this right here? Anyway, you, you'll be able to see this gold color coming in. I'm going to zoom that up a little bit so we can see down here. Sometimes it takes me a little bit to get my camera angle. But anyway,
All I'm doing is we're rubbing very lightly. Just get it on the tip of your finger. And then just rub very lightly. What that does, that puts a gold tip on on each of these scales here. Which really sets this this off. I did this for a bass I took to a competition once. And it was a, it was my bass. And exactly the same thing I would do for a customer. And, uh, you know, it took a third place ribbon, which I thought was good for a, for a, <laughs> for a taxidermist that, that was just doing it, putting out work that goes out of the shop that is just, uh, would go to a customer and they, he could take it to a show and get a ribbon with it. But anyway, that's beside the point, blow my own horn, but anyway, I, I like this here. It gives it just a little bit of of uh, color to the scales. And what you want to do, you don't want to rub this, okay? What I'm doing is I'm doing the dark scales. And you can see that. And I'm getting these scales. Sometimes I'll get a little bit more on here. Very lightly rub that. Oh God, I'm going to go down into this brown just a little for this darker stuff here. Right here. Give those a tip too. It doesn't say that, but I like I like gold tip scales, especially on bass. <clears throat> they don't go all the way down, but okay. Now, what you got to be careful of: if you touch these scales, they're going to end up coming off. I mean, you rub this. I think that's going to look good. Anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what happens when we brighten this thing up. Okay? You watch as I hit this with the, the clear lacquer. I'm going to turn this around and prop it up so we can maybe kind of see what happens when we hit this with the, with this uh, triple thick sometimes. But anyway, you'll see the, the color just burst out. And what you might want to do is uh, you give your fish a, a once over. See how the gold just popped out. And the fins look good now. Fish, this is a female. Uh, you can see how the tail is rubbed off here. Uh, a lot of females have their tail rubbed down like that. So there's not much more I can say about mounting that fish. It'll be a, a bass good enough for yourself or for a customer. So, anyway, you see how when you add this, that's why when you put your colors on, if you get too deep a color, say too bright of a color, if you if I was to have taken these spots here, these spot patterns, and made them really black looking, they would have just been almost too overbearing for the fish. Fish are kind of subtle, they blend into their surroundings. Uh, Anyway, you take a fish in the water, you normally doesn't look anything like a fish out of the water because of the ultraviolet rays, things like that. The colors just get, I think, really pop out in in the open air for a while anyway. But anyway, that's that on that fish.